The Great Resignation. It's a large number of Americans who are leaving their jobs voluntarily. Joining us tonight is Josh Royton of Edward Jones to tell us more. Hi, Josh. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we know the markets are kind of weird right now. Everybody is paying more for groceries, things are happening, but people are also deciding to leave their jobs and work from home. Tell us about this decision and how we can be careful when making it. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, some of the background, you know, after a year of the pandemic uh, has caused so many people to lose their job, uh, the economy is opening back up, but the quit rate is what they're calling it. Uh, the number of jobs that people have voluntarily left has absolutely been skyrocketing, breaking records. Uh, some economists say that this high quit rate is because people are confident of getting better jobs with either higher pay, more flexibility to work at home, or because they're preparing to start their own business or join the gig economy. So there's really a couple different uh, streams that are all feeding together to make this quit rate just uh, boom like it never has before. And you can see that where uh, you look around town, so many places are hiring uh, because so many people are dropping out of the workforce or at least changing the workforce. Okay. Uh, it, and some of it might be temporary. Uh, so people are joining the temporary migration. There's a couple things that they should probably look at before they make those changes. Um, you know, always try to have new employment in hand, make sure you don't quit on the hopes that you're going to find something better. Uh, always look around uh, and see if you can actually get hired before you put your time in. Uh, alternatively, you know, you, you might need uh, to see if your spouse or life partner, they might be able to earn enough to kind of sustain the two of you, or you can tap into your emergency fund if that gives you a little bit of cushion as well. Okay, and so you say to look clearly also at our financial situation before we even make this move. Obviously, we need to talk to our partner about it and we have to have a new job ready, but looking at that financial situation, what if we do have to lean back on our emergency fund? Well, you want to be careful. Uh, you know, you don't want to make, you want to have a plan for uh, tapping into that emergency fund, but also make sure you know that you've got to rebuild uh, that emergency fund over time. Uh, but that is still probably a better plan than tapping into your 401k from your old job or IRAs or outside accounts, because those could actually come with some pretty hefty penalties uh, and some tax implications as well. So you would be better off looking at that emergency fund, even if you have to pull it down for a short amount of time uh, and then re replenish that once you're hired somewhere new. It's definitely true. So people are leaving their jobs. The quit rate is high. How are you dealing with this um, from a financial advisor standpoint with your business? Are people coming in and having that conversation with you? Yeah, absolutely. So especially clients that are uh, starting up their own businesses where we're talking about uh, either own, owner only 401k, where if you're self-employed, you can have your own 401k with just you as the uh, participant. Uh, we're doing SEP IRAs and simple IRAs. Uh, and then we're also helping people as they're you know, changing from company to company, we're helping them with their rollovers to the new IRAs, uh, out of their 401k plan into new IRAs, uh, and just kind of helping them navigate that entire process to make sure that they don't make a misstep that could impact them uh, negatively down the road. Sounds good. Thanks for looking out, Josh, and thanks for being with us today. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back.